Hey guys, I, uh, I'm terrible with intros. This is my, <laughs> this is my list of steps that I made to fix the random crashing the desktop that happens with RoboCrash. RoboCrash. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Uh, random crashes the desktop on RoboCraft you, when people are using Windows 10. Um, here, I'm, I'm terrible with this, so I'm just literally going to read these steps and then just show you how to do them on here. Alright, so the first step, using Steam's library, navigate to Robocraft's local files. Alright. First off, I'm going to put this over here. Take Steam, right click on Robocraft. Yeah, you have to get the library first. It, it, sometimes Steam will open on store, I think. And you want to go to the library, choose your game, right click on it, then left click on properties, left click on local files, and then browse local files. And that will take you directly to wherever it is that you install the game. Now, if you're not using the Steam launcher, if you're using the standalone Robocraft launcher, you have to find where it installed um, on your computer yourself. I would expect it to be something, I mean, I think you have to choose the directory when you install it. So if you put it somewhere sensible like a, a folder on your C drive named Robocraft, then find it. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not sure where you would put it or where the Robocraft launcher puts it by default. Matter of fact, I can find that out real quick. Alright, so I quickly grabbed the Robocraft launcher, and it looks like the default folder for it is C slash games slash Robocraft, and the best way to get there is to open up a fresh file explorer, scroll down to, um, is it this PC? Yeah, I clicked this PC, open up your local disk, um, if you've already installed it, there should be a folder named games. And and there will be a folder named Robocraft. Just just like that, it'll just be sitting there, and you'll go in there, and you'll find all this stuff. So, whatever type of launcher you have, once you get to here, uh, what's what's it next? Uh, once you get here, you scroll down until you find Robocraft and Robocraft Client. For each of those, you need to left click on it to make sure it's highlighted. Let's see here. What else is what else is on here? Alright, left click, right click properties. Okay, so you right click, go down to properties again. Right up here it says compatibility. And once you get there, what you need to do, and it won't work if you don't do this, click change settings for all users. Um, you might get a security pop-up, um, just click accept or yes. I mean, it'll, it'll be like, <clears throat> if you ever had Windows 7, you know what it's like. It gets, it just, everything fades off, and then it's like, do you want to allow this program to make changes to your computer? And you click yes, and you imp insert your password if you need to do that. But since I'm on an administrator account, it opened it right up, no problem. Now, this, by default, is going to read, it's going to look like this. And from here, you want to check, run this program in compatibility mode, click the drop down, and then select Windows XP Service Pack 3. That is the one, right? Yes, it is. Awesome. Then, click Apply, click OK, and click OK again. Then, you have to repeat it for this Robocraft client. If you right click, Properties, Compatibility, change settings for all user. Make sure that's checked and select Windows XP Service Pack 3. Apply, OK, OK. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, you just launch Robocraft from here. Um, I don't have it in window mode, so this might look glitchy. I'm, I'm not going to be able to tell until after I end the recording. But anyway, um, you just click play or launch it from the Robocraft launcher. And you should get this. Hopefully you can see it. This uh, easy anti-cheat user account control thing. Just click yes. And it pulls it right on up. Just like like it doesn't even matter at all. There goes RoboShield. And you probably can't see it because I'm recording my desktop and not the game. 
but Robocraft is almost, almost, it is now open. And I'm, I'm limited to 10 minute recording because I'm cheap and I have the free version of Bandicam. How do I get out of here? Um, but it, um, if you leave it open for a long time, it won't crash the desktop, as far as I've noticed. Now, there are a few drawbacks that I don't think I posted about. Um, one of which, which I just noticed now, I don't know if it was a new update or not, but I pressing escape doesn't allow me to exit out of the game. <coughs> I have to hit the Windows key and go down here and right, right click on Robocraft and click close window. In addition to that, the Steam overlay doesn't work. If I hit shift and tab, nothing comes up. Um, I don't know if it's just a binding issue with like special keys, control, windows, shift and tab, stuff like that that don't work inside the game itself. Um, if that was the case, then you would still get Steam messages and stuff pop up, but you wouldn't be able to respond to them without closing the game or going to the desktop. <clears throat> but at any rate, I think it's a very small drawback, um, especially when compared to being kicked to desktop in the middle of the game and not being able to get back in. Anyway, I hope you all found this useful, and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you, and uh, good night. I'm just going to say good night. I'm assuming you're watching this in the middle of the night. I'm going to say good night. Good night, everyone.